Hey guys, I hope you liked today's decorate with me Christmas video. I'm showing you a sped up version of how I decorate my Christmas tree. So every year I switch it up a little, I work with the same golden white theme and I add a statement color like champagne, rose gold, or copper uh, to change it up a little. And this year I am working with a gold, white, and champagne theme for my Christmas tree and my Christmas decor around the house. Here I have a seven and a half foot artificial pre-lit Christmas tree that I got a couple of years ago. I also have a bunch of different ornaments that I've collected through the years. They're mostly from Hobby Lobby and Marshalls and Home Goods. Those are my favorite places to get decorations. And then most recently I found some really gorgeous statement uh, ornament pieces from Nordstrom Rack. If you have one nearby and you're just looking for some really gorgeous large ornaments, Definitely check out Nordstrom Rack because not only are they just stunning and timeless, but they're also very affordable. I usually begin by setting up my tree and then I put my skirt down. This skirt is actually from Home Goods. It's so beautiful. It's this creamy white Christmas tree skirt with gold embroidery on it. And another reason I was drawn to it is because I feel like it's something that's pretty timeless. I can use it year after year, no matter how I'm switching up the decor. After I put the skirt down, I then move on to some of my smaller ornaments that I have a large amount of. I start placing those onto the tree, making sure to spread them out. And then once those are down, I move on to some of my larger, more statement ornament pieces. So you can see that a lot of my ornaments are actually stored in Ziploc bags. I like storing them this way because I feel like it protects them. It also organizes everything really well. It's easier to store flatly, if that makes sense, as opposed to having you know boxes of uh, ornaments that tend to take a little bit more room than necessary. Um, so yeah, that's a good trick. And then some of my really delicate pieces, I like to wrap up in paper before I store them just to protect them, make sure that as they're being stored for the next 12 months, they're not gonna be damaged. How do you guys decorate your Christmas tree? Like what colors do you use? Have any of you decorated with a white tree? I've seen some really beautiful white trees and some people decorate their trees so bomb, but I just feel like it would be something that I would get sick of. So I don't know if it's worth the investment for me, but if you guys have uh, purchased or decorated a white tree, definitely let me know down below and let me know if it's a good investment. Let me know if you're happy with that investment. As I decorate, I like to make sure that everything is aesthetically pleasing. So I will go up to the tree, set an ornament down, take a step back, assess the situation, and then decide if I need to move it over. If you are not OCD when it comes to things like this, then just place them wherever you want. As long as you're happy with the way your tree looks, that's all that matters, right? I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes, so I find that taking a step back and really surveying the entire situation helps me be able to decorate everything nice and evenly. Can we take one hot second to look at this Texas Starbucks tree ornament? Isn't it everything? I know I'm acting extra basic right now, but I love it. I love the colors, the gold, the silver, the white, and the black. I just love that it matches the tree. And I love that it has Texas on it. Two of my favorite things makes my heart so happy. I love it. Another great tip for decorating your tree is to buy a big pack of little ornaments like these gold icicles. They're really great to fill up any space that might be just a little too small for some of the bigger ornaments, but isn't quite small enough to not look like there's an empty space just kind of chilling in your tree. So I would definitely recommend getting something like this. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and I think it was a pack of like 30 or something like that. It's so nice to have.
Another great way to fill up some of the empty space in the tree is to place these decorative twigs into the trees. Um, these are gold and champagne glittered twigs. You can pick them up anywhere these days. I picked these up at Home Goods. And again, they're just great filler for the tree and they make the tree just look so elegant and whimsical and romantic. They're fairly inexpensive as well, so they're definitely great ornaments to have, especially because you can decorate so many different areas using these. You can decorate your fire mantle, you can decorate uh, the countertops, fasten a few of them together and make a reef out of it. So it's definitely a great inexpensive uh, ornament or decorative piece to have on hand. This is the final result of all that decorating. Um, I did end up adding the reindeer and the tree down at the bottom there. I picked those up at Home Goods if you're wondering where I got those. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and make new videos every week. And I hope you guys have an amazing holiday filled with lots of love. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.